So we just pulled out of the house. We gotta run to the pasture to meet with our helper. And they're all cuddled up in the towel, napping in Leon's lap. Oh. Now, oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry I woke you up. So, Sophie and Mocha are in the trailer. Um, we're actually going to take them. Our friend is meeting us. She's going to take Sophie and the babies and put them up in a stall in her barn so that they have some time. They can be together for a couple days, just the three of them. And Mocha is going to go out to the farm. Which she's not going to be too thrilled about being by herself. But I want to have Sophie and her babies by herself, separated from any other goats until they're big enough to walk around easily. <laughs> oh, well, black one's gonna be a bully. Is he trying to nurse on you, Leon? <laughs> yes. So we have had a very exciting morning trying to get out of the house to get on the road to go get our goats from North Georgia. If you watched the last vlog, you know that Sophie decided, nope, you're not leaving. I'm gonna kid. So she had her babies literally two hours ago. They're actually in the back seat right now. We're on our way out to the farm to go uh, drop them off. They're gonna go stay at our friend's house that is a uh, farm sitting for us. They're gonna go stay at her place in her barn to, so that she can closely monitor them and they can have their own space for a couple days until the babies are able to be up and about. So we're actually on our way to go meet with her out at the farm to drop Mocha off and her to get Sophie and her babies. So if you guys aren't quite sure of what's going on, we, um, if you follow us regularly, you'll know that we're going to North Georgia to go and get our new fainting goats. We are actually going to another YouTube channel's farm to get some fainting goats. So the YouTube channel that we are actually going to is, I'll share a link down below and I'll share a link here. It's Six Acres Farm and Rescue. And they actually reached out to me um, whenever I reached out to the community to see if there was any uh, YouTubers, homesteaders that had, uh, that bred fainting goats in North and Georgia area because I wanted to get some, there was actually, so this was like a long story kind of, I'm gonna kind of cut it short so it doesn't get too long. So we actually have been searching for uh, new fainting goat breeders for about a year now. And our search kept turning up a lot of breeders that while they were breeding very good quality stock, there were no uh, like unique color patterns or anything like that of that nature. So while we are breeding for uh, meat, we're also breeding for pet and I wanted to have some unique qualities. Which brings us to Georgia. We had actually found a farm in Georgia a while back that bred exactly what I was looking for. Unique color patterns, uh, bl blue denim, uh, black, black and tan tri, like the really pretty colors that I was looking for. And they also bred for blue eye genetics as well. Good deep bodies, just great breeding stock. And I had reached out to them, and unfortunately, they had actually sold off their entire herd uh, due to personal matters, and they didn't have them anymore. Well, cutting to the future, I had given up on getting uh, breeding stock from them, and so I'd reached out to the homesteading community, and Miss Linda actually reached out to me from Six Acres Farm and Rescue, sharing that she had some fainting goats that she bred, her and her son, her, her son breeds, and so she actually shared the pictures well once i got the pedigrees because these are going to be breeding stock and i want them to be registered when i looked at the pedigrees lo and behold this world is so small it turns out that they actually were the ones who had gotten the breeders 
the goats, the fainting goat herd from the breeders that I had wanted to get from. So now we're getting breeders from that line and I am super excited. Yes. So we're getting two, uh, one young doe, one doling, one buck and one buckling. That way we have, if we decide we want to keep any of the offspring from any of our stock, we already have a uh, unrelated, we, we already have another buck on hand to breed back to and it's going to help with um, putting a good mix of genetics in our uh, stock. I can't wait to get the goats. They're gonna be so cute. They are gonna be so cute. Which one you want? Which one you want to snuggle first? All of them. I want to snuggle Juniper. She is gonna be so cute. That's the little blue doling. She'd be about ten weeks oh, old, roughly, yeah. I think now, because they were eight weeks can old we at the beginning. Can we? Can we both snuggle her? I think we can. You can get all the goat snuggles. Snuggle. Has the angora I fiber? Oh. She's the one that has it, and he will probably have it too. Oh, oh my goodness! I love his the markings. The two babies. Now this is perfect for you to bond with them. This is Mr. Salem, right? That's who what we named Salem. him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at look at his look at his ear tag. Oh my goodness! Look at it. He's such a handsome boy. But, um, oh. Yeah. All right, let me go with him. He just got that little. He's so snuggly. Hey babies. Because I'm going to step in it if I don't. <laughs> I will be the one to step in it. I know you're going to give me, you come in. Yeah. Oh, sweethearts. Oh, it's okay. You're going to faint already? You're not going to faint if you give me up. Come here. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, that was pretty. Isn't he? Full people. Come here, big boy. He's heavy. That's what we want. We want that, that deep body. We want that, that, want that good, healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody, does somebody need to open the gate for yeah. That's why I'm going to go help him. He's a good helper. Whoop. All right, open it. Come on. There you go, buddy. There you go. One more. Come on, girl. It's okay. Oh, I thought you were bringing about three of them. Nope, four. Four of them. Two oh, no. does and two she's bucks. A, she's a. You're gonna get back there so I can get you. Oh, she's ducking out. Well, that's why I'm holding the gate. For. She's she's ducking. Here, babe. If you want to get in there, I'll hold the gate. I got it. So if you want to get in there, I'll hold the gate. No, it's okay, buddy. She's scared. She went to the vet. That she's like, I'm, I'm done with traveling, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I love, I love, I love, I, she's got a great frame. She does. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay, honey. That was my shoulder that got dislocated a long time ago. Oh. 
Well, a year ago. There we go. There, that's a girl. There a girl. we go. Big girl. She has the prettiest blue eyes. Yeah. I don't know if you could tell. Ooh, oh, she's got a marble. She's got one marble. They're marbled. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think the baby uh, little baby does too. Oh, that's awesome. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you don't. No, you don't. Right here in my arms. <laughs> Yeah, she kind of tried to jump out of his arms. There we go. There you go, baby. There, there they are. All the babies. The black one's still fluffy. Ah, I gotta look at how beautiful that is. Beautiful pond. Oh, paperwork. Oh yes, we need that. That's kind of necessary. We we won't get far. We'll get we'll make it to the Florida Georgia line and we'll be turning around. That's right. We'll get through a lot. That's why and Casey has sent off for um, the registration. The registration on the two babies. Um, Rosie's had to be corrected because when it came back, I'm gonna give it to you. Though. Okay. But um, came back that she was born in December 2020. There's 20, a typo. 2021. <laughs> There's she hasn't the, been born they're yet. They're so backed up at the fainting goat <laughs> registry right now. I know that's taking like months to get stuff back. Yeah. So, Miss Linda, tell me a little bit about your channel and your farm. So you've got Six Acre Farm and Rescue. Six Acres Farm and Rescue. We started it almost five years ago. Wow. Um, last year, we finally got our nonprofit status. After we had, hmm, a couple hundred animals, <laughs> we decided we better go ahead and do that. <laughs> so we got serious about that, but because I of COVID, it took a long garden. time to to get it. But as of June of last year, we did. We Congratulations. Did so we have rescued. A lot of the animals we rescue are not hurt. They're not sick. They just need new homes. People just get so tired of mm -hmm. farm. And, and we do mostly farm animals. Yeah. People people jump in head first and then they get overwhelmed and realize, they oh, I made a mistake. Right in and then the first big thing we did was four mini horses oh. and we knew nothing about I horses. feel like minis are the most common they, for people to get and then realize they are because they think they're just you know yard dogs mm -hmm. somebody calls us and says you know can you take another animal we just took a two two thousand pound bull Oof. Jersey bull oh <laughs> so your property goes all the way up to the road yes Yes. Awesome. Now this it is goes beautiful. 6.3 and it was all pasture land. Mm -hmm. This barn is an original barn built in the 20s. Yeah, check it check this out. Yeah. It's it's a tin. Look at the look at all the tin. We have replaced some of the old tin. Yeah. It is difficult to find a uh, reclaimed tin, but um, so it is still standing. Yeah. After 100 years it's they, still standing. They, they really built things to last yes, back they, in those they days. Did. So we, you know, when the the nannies have kids then we uh usually sell the bottle babies mm -hmm. adopt them out whatever you want to call it but that is a fundraising effort we've had goat yoga here also <sighs> i have probably close to 300 chickens right now wow i've hatched in the Holy mama's cow. Hatch and, <gasps> but that's the way we raise money for hay mm -hmm. and things that you know when when folks don't have extra to uh help support you gotta, you gotta pay the bills. Yeah, hey, yeah. babe, you think my number of chickens bad? She's got three hundred. Oh, this is only the babies. This <laughs> oh, that's only the babies. <laughs> this, isn't the, this isn't the adults. I can show you some chickens. We built an aviary. Uh, oh, colony. can you give us a little quick tour? Sure. Oh, I'd love that. Tour. There we go. <laughs> ten cent tour. Let's go do a tour. Yeah. So we'll have to go back up to my farm. All right. Uh, for the rescue tour. And uh, um, Casey's. You can see he's got quail he's got his run and he's got his building is that what the hoop house is for yes oh that's, okay there so is like, there is some adult check? quail in there already oh, he raises run. george oh, that's yeah. cool oh they okay to, to eat. that's yeah. an interesting way to great eating it's the okay georgia we, giant ones they're it's huge okay if we paypal you oh, we, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna pay you oh, 10 I, cents I, tour you know what you could give me 10 pennies and i would be totally happy <laughs> you could give me a plug nickel and i would be happy you got like this whole little habitat in here for them really Oh, they, they went down to the other. They went down to the other. So they got this hoop house set up with this netting. So you guys don't ever have any issues with predators uh, with this netting? Occasionally we have to watch for... Well, got, watch the electric. Wow. Oh yeah, Liam, watch the electric. Oh, it's not on, okay. Um, 
He's in the process of rebuilding his building here. We had a small heat lamp issue. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this so this is gonna be for the quail. Uh yeah, I'm gonna show you what's in there. That's cool. Let's see. Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're hiding over there. He's only got about three dozen in here right at the moment. Oh, I see the grass moving. Yes. See. So he. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right over yes. there. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. I saw them. Oh, you see here. the grass moving? Yeah. This is like a, it's a work in progress. And uh, so he doesn't have any in this section yet. But Definitely a nice, nice system. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. He's, he's worked, uh, sometimes it's just trial and error. Yep. Yeah. You know, and uh, definitely he's been, he's been working on trial and error. Oh, wow. Oh, look at them all. All of his little pictures. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all those babies. This is nice. Can I, you can't hold one, but we can admire them. They, they're like guineas. Okay. No, I don't want to hurry. We don't want to stress them out, buddy. Quail are very wild. And I certainly don't want to turn in these. Yeah, no. He, he really improved it after the other one burned a hole in the so so now he's got a concrete floor there you go <laughs> he said no more of these wood floors yeah doesn't work so we'll go up to the main house all right and uh and and it's a circle drive it's real easy y'all can just circle on in there okay and uh most of my animals are close okay you know look at the baby doll sheep oh my goodness it's so cute Nubians, some Nigerian pygmy, oh, La Macha. Oh, those so are the ones I'll, without the ears. We'll have to go in that pen over there. Johnson is laying down. That's my maiden name, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just oh, named him. But we have we have a lot of Nigerian dwarfs, and the two little sheep are Jack and Jill. They are baby doll, right? South Down baby doll sheep. Oh my goodness. It's a little sweetheart. She had her first baby. She, she's yeah. the one I was telling you. She, uh, she's right. a, about 14 months old. Yeah. So she was pretty young, but she had one whopping five pound boy. Wow. I wow. That's, that's, a that is. <laughs> that's a big boy. That is. That is a big boy. And I guess it's uh, from her um, her lineage being uh, boar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they have big babies. Uh, Johnson was also five pounds. His mama is that dapple. Uh, she is La Macha. I see there. the I see the moon spotted one. She yes. is beautiful. See the one with the black with the yeah, those, yeah. that's a moon spotting. Yeah, yes. I I'd, I'd ultimately love to. Hey, oh sweetheart. hi sweetheart. I'd love to get a moon spotted she, goat in our herd. We we actually rescued rescued her. We found her at an auction. She was going to go to meat market. Oh. And she's so friendly. She come right up and yeah. just loves on you. Aww. So I can't imagine anybody ever getting rid of her. Yeah. And when she delivered, this is her second uh, kid. Um, and he looks just like her, but he has the long ears like the Nubian daddy. That's not the one laying down at the fence line? Yes. I see him. So you can barely see him, but we'll go in there. Okay. Oh, uh, so you can just circle around over there. But, um, and so you can, oh my gosh, he's, he's so, he's one of those that you just want to hug and love on. <laughs> just because he's got these long ears and his, his coat is so soft. It's like, it's, it's like, um. Almost like the cashmere you were telling yeah. me about? It's it's like a sharp hay dog. You know how that their their fur is like really squishy, mm -hmm. like they're gonna grow into it one day. Yeah, his is like that. It's just it it's just so thick. So we'll get you a little closer to him, and uh, but most of those are Nigerians. I've got like I said, I've got some faintings that are unregistered, and I breed them with an unregistered. Yeah. So yeah, it still works out. Oh, I see one of the baby dolls yes, laying down. that's Jack. I want to pet a baby doll. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like a big old squishy piece of foam. <laughs> but they were born in February, so they're not that old. Yeah, but yeah. they don't get very big. No, they're, they're well, actually, uh, 18 to 24 inches. That's yeah, it. that's that's and small. They may be as tall as they're going to get, but they'll get a little broader. So this is your 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 farm. Yeah. So the farm that we were just at was actually her son's. He's the one who breeds the fainting. That's, that's right. This is this is the original six acres. Yes. Okay. So we uh, this is an original barn that was built in 36 and the original farmhouse in 36. Oh, I love 
Okay. So we haven't done anything with it yet. Because there's always something in the animal realm that needs hay yep. or... Yep. <laughs> always so. how it works. I see your Muscovies. 1936. That is so cool. You don't but see this kind of stuff down in Florida. Yeah. Hard. It is. Now, we crazy. did put the siding, the wood siding on it because right. it was, and, and these bays were open for tractors. Oh. So oh. we closed all of this because I did refinish furniture before we came here, but I don't really have time to do that anymore. I was wondering what that snap sound was. <laughs> we just added those. They're great for catching yeah, flies. Oh my don't gosh. Don't touch that, Leon, okay? Yeah, they're really, that. You heard that sound? They're that really was a good. bug being my yeah, That's how you know that it's a whole barn. Yes. True two inch thick wood. And look at the, uh, I know. I mean, it's, it's great. So it's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, bud? That's what happens if you touch that. Oh, that's an empty baby. These are just, these are my babies that most of the little ones are back there in the back. Now you can hold a chicken. There you go. Little you can reach in there. Barnyard mix babies. Yeah. But we had, um, we there, had, look, Leon, there you go. There's we one had, hold. We, this, this one was hatched yesterday. That is a fresh baby. Look at that fresh baby. And as they as they go up, these are the ones that are going to go out to the to the yard. Soon. So you kind of just like rotate them. Yes. So that so as they get larger, then I move them up, and then I move them up, and uh, good little so, system. Well, yeah, these are the commercial style. Yes, brooders. And we've had these for a couple of years, and they work really well. Yeah, really well. And uh, we just moved them into this building and added the extra fans for circulation. Water because they were on a dirt floor chick house. Yeah. A lot of a lot of dust. I mean yeah. it's bad enough with the baby chick dust, mm -hmm. but so so this is really our incubator room. <laughs> this is your cabinet incubators. Yes. This is what we'll eventually get one day. Yes. Yeah. How do dead uh, bugs survive? They don't. They're not for long. They they are very injured. Just know that. We have to uh, we have to put a stop to the flies somewhere. Yeah. Uh, just because that's they cause very serious button, issues. Yes. Don't you push so that button, little bug. Don't you push it. We use these big pickle buckets for feed. It oh, keeps the mice out. Oh, that's They're great. really great. You do have to keep them at least halfway through, though, because otherwise you're standing on your head. Yeah, you're trying, trying to, to, <laughs> you're trying to reach <laughs> down hand. Which is not real conducive if you're if you're really low and you just, you've got to get them. That's resourceful, though. We use the, uh, the uh, metal tin. Yeah, the garbage ah, cans the garbage for ours. Can. But that's, they that's nice. smell like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, go ahead and hand back the chick. There Let's you go. go. You All just, the other stuff. Just slide him right in there. Oh, yeah. not in the food, silly. Yeah, I can't open this for the for the uh, tray because they're so tiny they go through the holes. Ah. Oh yes. And then I have. Wow, they really do slip through those. Oh yes. So the larger ones only get the uh, the big like that. But that's nice because then you free up a lot more floor space. Yes. You don't have to have a feeder in there. And, and the water is going to work because it's chilling. Uh, so I can't do the water. Oh, there's a kitty, Leon. They got a kitty out here. Oh, we have 11 kitties. Uh, we, we, barn, this one was found in a barn, so I've been doctoring its eyes oh, every yeah. day. Oh, she had them in a tree that's trunk. That's why I jumped. Yes, oh, and when she, by the see. time she brought them to me, then... We Aww. so we've been treating them with uh, antibiotics and and uh, eye cream yeah, and like that teramycin. That teramycin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's twenty two dollars for. That yeah, much. a little tiny. We, we had much. to do it with the, some of our kittens yeah. before too. Well, yeah. you got a little baby goat in there with the cows. Oh, I have triplets. Actually, they were quads, and and one did not make it at birth. Aww. But um, they, and they'll come to me because I bottle fed them. Here's Uncle Moose. Uncle, oh man, that's a big boy. He is a big boy. Come here, baby. Come here. She says hi. Do you want to come out here? Oh, what a cutie. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 I wanted to scratch. Come here. You'll come to mama. Oh. Goats are such funny little creatures. Oh, baby. Hi. Oh my god. You want to hold it? Oh, oh he found a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, there's two little girls and there's little boys. The other two are probably over here. I love oh. her chocolate color. But that Hi, one baby. sneaks out. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Goats are sneaky little things. They, they are. <laughs> they can, they can flat. The mama is a pygmy and the daddy was a Nigerian. Ah. And she had quads. Oh, look at this and pretty she try. Was my original rescues. They found her in the woods. Oh, I see this one's got some like long coat. Yes. 
But she has a really terrible problem with her bag. Oh man. So I have to I have to always bottle feed her yeah. babies. But she's a wonderful mother. So there's the other two behind her. So she's got that long coat. Yes. Like what you were telling me about. Yes. The long shaggy coat. That's nibbles. <laughs> Reminds you of um, um okay. mountain goats. There's a pot belly pig. Oh, there's my other little girl. Oh. oh. She always gives kisses. They're so friendly. Why they are. are pot belly pigs so fat? Because pot are. belly pigs are fat. There's a little boy. That's where they get the name pot belly. Yeah. Sherry, she got a pot belly pig. And it got so big. sweet. Oh, what a cute. Yeah, like Isn't he cute? cute? So he's going to have some long uh, yeah. fur like his mama. But that's nibble. She will nibble on your boots. <laughs> <laughs> She got her name and she loves to rub oh, on she's scratching her head. Yeah. Great scratch post. Yes. <laughs> but these guys here, you were asking, I rescued 15 uh, last month. Oh, wow. And they were part of the 15. I had to say, hey, babies. But these are not, they, they haven't cottoned up to me yet. <laughs> yeah. Still, so, still work in progress. They're running from you at least. <laughs> no. The, the little girl with the, with the um, collar. She is uh, my time. Oh, and here's that here's that young little buckling that you were telling us yes, about. Yes, that's Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> See, it's, they've got a goat named for our family. <laughs> you would think I just named him Johnson. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, what a cutie. He is 50% La Macha. Don't ever jump on the trampoline. Hi, handsome. Oh. I, I, I really want a moon spot in our herd. He said, oh. Yeah, I see, I, I see, I see that, that uh, Nubian body but build. Nubian's not, he's only a month old. Wow. Nubians are huge. They're huge. They're huge. And there's his mama. She's pretty tall for a Lamacha. Yeah. And uh, Dottie is very friendly. Very friendly. Twinkie, she's red. She's red. He says, she nope. came from your group that you just took. Twinkie. The one at the far with the blue eyes? Yeah. She's pretty. This is her this is one of the twins here. But she always has twins and triplets. Nice. That Twinkie. You see those blue eyes? Oh, hi! Oh, you're the one that greeted us at the fence. This Twinkie, this is her favorite thing to do. Hey, Aww. Yeah, this is, this is the genetic. So yours will get, get that friendly. But she's a good girl. She's had, she's had mostly triplets. Oh, like oh, you got scratchy chin. Oh, yeah. she loves yeah. it. Home spot. But, but Dottie is, uh, see her long legs? Yep. Hey, baby. This is my girl. Hi, pretty girl. She's very, Hi. most of them, most of the ones we've had for three or four years are very friendly. Now, see, she likes you. Hi. Twinkie. But Dottie, I know, baby. I have passed the goat judgment. Yes. <laughs> you, you've been accepted into the... She's, she's a grandmother. She's almost five years old. She was one of our original uh, bottle babies. Lamachas oh, no. are so funny. So Lamachas, they're the breed that don't have ears. Yeah, and she has more ears than most. Oh, yeah, Because some you barely have, have little nubs yeah, almost. Yeah, they just got holes in the side oh, of them. I see that. So she may actually be uh, mixed with something, but her baby turned out with her coloring and the daddy's uh, yeah, see, if you hadn't if you hadn't told me that he had La Matcha in him, I would have thought he, he was Nubian. Yeah, he looks because he, oh, he definitely looks like the daddy, and the daddy is chocolate brown. Okay. I'll give you. I'll give you. The the they found the goat. Oh, oh. they're play trampoline. <laughs> they're, goat play they, pen. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the goat uh, play yard there. <laughs> All right, I um, want to pet a baby let's doll. See if, let's see if we can Where'd get they the go? baby. They're right there in front of you. Oh, there they are. Leon, you want to come pet the baby doll sheep? Let's see if, uh, if they'll let us. Yeah. We haven't had them but a couple of months. Ah, so they're very fresh. So they're they're very fresh. Where y'all going? Hey. I love how they have tails. They have they have such long tails. They do. And because uh, typically in commercial, when you see a lamb, they've docked they dock the tails. Yes. So you don't, it's not typical you see the tails. So they're they're not playing today. Oh, they're but so cute. They'll usually get really close to I me when I'm feeding and I can touch them when, so I, I constantly try and, and touch them, but um, they're less than six months old, but they will get their first shear next month. And then they'll get, then they'll start to get handled. <laughs> they'll get very heavy. No, they don't. So yeah. 
And I hear, I hear, I, I, I recently learned on TikTok that the, uh, the, the, the dark color, the black sheep, their, 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 their wool is useless. They, they, no one buys them. No one wants them. But, and he looks rusty brown, mm -hmm. but he really is black. Yeah. And he's just faded. It's just sun bleached. Sun bleached. Yeah. But I use their fiber for felting. Oh, there Making you go. Fireballs and felted okay. soaps and so they're, it, and it is difficult to process because it's so short, but you can use it and there is a use for them because most of those things, like the dryer ball, oh. you don't see what's inside of them anyway. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter and so what color I put they are. white or colors over the, over the top anyway. So there's still a lot of really good uses. Back in the old country, they took all of the scraps that they sheared and they used it Oh, in their walls of their house, of their houses. I've heard of that. Yes. They yeah. really, really good insulation. So yeah. they didn't. Oh, hey, Camilla. Camilla had four. Oh man, babies, didn't you, girl? She's a serious mama. You she have came, four babies. She came with nibbles. They were both out in the woods, and they didn't have fencing or anything. And they had a hut that they would go to in the evening to eat. But they would roam the woods. See, that's 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 good genetics, though, because you know yeah. she is she doesn't need a lot. No, and she is a full-blooded Nigerian. She's pretty. And she's real pretty, but oh, she no. she's getting I love she's getting her girlish ears. figure back from oh, her quads. Oh, does that feel good? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, see, I can't get behind the horns. No. <laughs> but she she is. We found out earlier. Oh, here they all come. Oh, see, there's another one just like her. Yeah, I see. But that one has, that's Susie. She has black ears, but they actually came from the same oh. breeder, we found out later. They have oh. the same name. Their daddy's name is Playboy. Playboy. And he looks just like them. Hey, sweetheart. So, so they did come from a farm locally, but someone got in over their head, and they mm -hmm. said they couldn't feed them, and they only had two goats. Yeah. Uh, uh, people, th people, especially with goats, there's a really big misconception uh, Part, due in part because of uh, cartoons and stuff. People think goats can yes. just eat anything or they, you toss yes. them out and they'll take they, it, but that's not the that's case right. at all. They don't eat the tin can, but they, they will do. eat the paper. They will. <laughs> and they'll even eat stuff that's not good for them too. That's, that's the right. other thing is that's you've got to right. be careful about that. They will. Oh, oh here comes the babies. They're, oh. they're oh my goodness. I love their tails. Like that's so weird. Next, next year we feel like that they're going to be a lot more calmer and yeah <laughs> they do have a little bit different dietary as far as the copper That's goes right, yeah because i remember sheep are very sensitive to right. copper so i have to put the uh, loose minerals up because they don't jump mm -hmm. so i have to put them high and the goats can go up and get their minerals but the sheep, sheep don't jump up like goats do no really no huh. they'll run yeah <laughs> they'll take off and just run here's one of the pigs She's the most recent pig that I, that's Angel. She come out of Atlanta. I used to have a pot belly pig. Yeah, like, um, I used to. She has she's a, and she is a true pot belly. Oh, belly oh yeah. I, I used to have a pot belly named Babe. Did back you? from the old movie, Babe. Movie. Yep, that was one of my favorite movies growing up. Hi, Please, sweetheart. Uh, there is two more. Hector. Oh, hi. He was in an apartment. MJ, he was at a at a home in South Carolina, and in the city limits, and the police force found out about him and said you got to get rid of him. Yeah, we had I had um, come from Illinois, girl. We had um, domestic. There we go. Yes, oh, yeah, your belly. Hogs. Those are true hogs. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, got, I got the belly. <laughs> 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 And, uh, you can never, dog, pig can never dog. turn down belly scratches. Yeah, just like a dog. <laughs> yeah. Let's scratch Angel. the belly, Leon. Angel likes her belly rubs. There you go. That's a happy piggy. Are, yeah. Look at that jiggle. That, that jiggle, 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 jiggle. Now, gentle, gentle. Just, just give her scratches. That, um, we got a pot. It was a pot belly. It's a happy piggy. And it got what? like a pig. That a happy. <laughs> Always going to scratch your belly, too. <laughs> Hector, you really need to see Hector. Which one's Hector? Uh, right he is a mini pig. Oh, is this the one in the? This is MJ. He's a pot belly and he's grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a grumpy old man. Hey, I'm sleeping here. He messed up his siesta. <laughs> That's MJ. Short for I don't know what. Oh, the door. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you 
minute. I'm sleeping. It's about time to take the Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. So angry. This is Hector. Oh my goodness. That's how big they get. He's supposed to be a mini pig. He's yeah. not a pot belly. They're always supposed to be mini pigs too. I know. Everyone gets, oh, I got a mini pig, and then you've got something this big or bigger. Yeah. But that is Hector. He was a baby, and they had kept him in an apartment. I think they were going to eat him. Yeah. And uh, people don't realize that potbelly pigs aren't good for meat. Yeah. They're good for like lard. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, my baby. Goodness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even doing anything. Uh, He's mad. He is so mad. <laughs> <laughs> and it took him a while to get used to little Angel because she would just dog him and push him and try to get him to play with her. And these old boys don't want to play. Yeah. <laughs> and they're called tusks. What do you yes. say, buddy? Is that a face only a mother could love? That's exactly. <laughs> and oh, he he's... was crippled. He has arthritis. Oh. And he's actually lost a little weight since he was here. He looks pretty good. Like he yeah. doesn't look like severely overweight. But he's his back legs are pretty rough. But Hector is not fixed. Um, so he's. He's like he got a cleft lip. Yeah, his nose is a little weird. Yeah. He doesn't have rhinitis, does he? I don't know. Well, the vet said he had arthritis. Oh no, for the nose. Yeah. Oh, just lay back down. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> He's like, all right, this is all we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. lay down. He's like, that's the end of it. He usually gets in his little wallering hole over there, and <laughs> and he take in the afternoon. He will let you actually spray him with a water hose. The other two won't. Yeah, because Leon, did you know pigs don't sweat? What? They cannot sweat. That's why they wallow in in mud and muck and water. Because they don't sweat. And the mud helps the flies stay that off too. of them. Yeah. So, you know, they say, the pe people say pigs are nasty, dirty. The, no, they're not. They're actually clean animals. Yeah. They're actually cleaner yeah. than some of the other animals mm -hmm. we have. They, they, they pick a place where they want to poop, and they always poop in that place yes. well away. They won't eat anywhere near it. So they, they actually, and they'll always go to the same spot. Mm -hmm. and, but see, she tries to get him to play, and he's like, <laughs> see you're following oh, girl. <laughs> Look at that face. I know, you're just a big old sweetie. <laughs> She's in the look and I look <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, you got quite a. I heard you had alpacas. Uh, was oh, that yes. Casey? That was uh, yes, he has two down there, but I have two up here. You do? Okay, I, I want to. I want to see before we go. I want to see an oh, alpaca. You didn't see the other one? I did not see any of the alpacas. Well, I had them put. Leon, in, I had them put in the other barn so they wouldn't get in y'all's way. Yeah. Oh, look at this beautiful rooster. Look at her. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, oh hi. We got, gotta, gotta we have got barn cats. His, we got his eyes cleared up. Oh, and weird. Put a collar on. I said, you are right. so precious. <laughs> so he's, There's the roost. That is an There's the roo. He's pretty. Uh -huh. one that somebody just dumped off here. Mm. Yeah, people got, very few people have use for rooster. People think that, you, it, it amazes me how many people think you have to have a rooster to get eggs. Yeah. I see that question yeah. all the time on the home study And if forum. they have 20 chickens, they think two roosters are too many. Yeah. And I actually was talking with one with so a lady that I'm actually kind of helping out and she's like, how many, how many hens, what is the hen to rooster? I was like, one rooster can service 24 hens. And I tell people, if you're just a small, just do eight to 10 to a rooster. If you have a small enclosure, that way you don't have too many in one mm -hmm. pen, like a four by 10 or four by eight. And that way, oh. But I've had one rooster for 20 or 30. Hens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's when you get past the 24 that the fertilization can get a little questionable. And so it's not like you have to have no. 24 hens to one rooster. But if you, if have... you don't have enough, then the roosters overwork mm -hmm. the, the females. He'll pick and out his favorites. Tear up their backs. And yep. so, so, yeah. Oh, so, I hear those guineas. You can hear my guineas. <laughs> the, uh, I love the little old farmhouse. <laughs> I, 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 I wish we had houses like that down in Florida. Yes. These, this house, the, it's only, it's less than 1,100 square foot. Mm -hmm. Partially wood floors. That amazes me. That just barely makes code in Florida. They're, they just recently passed really? a bunch of ordinances that you can't live in anything less than 1,000 square feet. Really? Yeah. yeah. You have a tiny home it's, it's, a, it's a war on tiny homes. Wow. 
ridiculous. Oh, look at this handsome boy. Uh -huh. And uh, several of the girls are up there hatching eggs. Hi, handsome. I love. Uh, we used to we used to have a lavender Orpington Americana cross, and she was like a lavender mm -hmm. Americana. You see, they, there he has some splash uh, Orpingtons up there. Oh, see, we we breed splash Americanas. Oh, yeah. yeah, so they're stunning. I like this setup. This is cool. Well, we just added the colony. Uh, Got him. This oh. is the pen when the babies come out of the brooder, they go to this pen. Ah. And, uh, this is like the. So this is, and I have a duck in about here, say, I about to say, that looks like a broody mama back yeah, there. The there we go. Kind of look through there. Oh, you got some chicks in the way, but behind there, there's a, there's a Muscovy hen sitting on eggs. All the light ones are Orpy tents, and then I have Splash, and then I have the Jersey Giant Bark Rocks in there. Oh, Jersey Giants are huge. Oh, and I have three of those and they were all rescues. Yeah. Because they these are my laying people And a lot of them. Yeah. Oh. Is that a Muscovy oh, yeah. hen over there? That's a Muscovy. And those are peak, uh, actually Blue three are Muscovy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I see the color, the different, the beak color. That is a beautiful babe. Babe. Look at the blue one. That's a Muscovy. Look at how pretty she is. Yeah. I've had green. I've had, there's one of the alpacas laying right there. Oh my goodness, alpacas. This is Lou. Oh, and you got more goats. Is this the buck pen? Uh, this is the buck pen. This is my, these are two of my little my tonics here. Oh my goodness. This, but this is Lou. Hey, oh Betty. Oh my goodness. Keep the wheel kicking. Oh. <laughs> Like, no patty. They won't spit on you, unlike llamas. Right. But they will, if you get between them when they're arguing, you will get it on you, and it's vile. <laughs> Believe me. He is about ready to be sheared. You can see his, his uh, fiber is probably almost five inches. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Hi. Hi. That is uh, Nada. Okay, you guys try to pet the ducks. <laughs> what do the ducks do? They charged at me. <laughs> yeah, because they, they were escaping. He he is the daddy to some of the kids. Oh, the brown and white one? Yes. Oh, he's gorgeous. He oh, is. Right. He's unregistered my tonic. And the little black one. I see a black one, white one right here. Yep, that's him. He is an unregistered my tonic. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Beautiful. And, and if you look behind the tree, that is Moon Pie. That's Twinkie's twin. Oh. oh. It's very unusual, but they are twins. Yeah. And they Look at that coat. The are Look okay. at that coat. The same oh yeah. He is pretty. pretty. And he was a weather when they we got him, and he stays. And he'll stay with the females or the males, and the alpacas don't care. And <laughs> but Moon Pie. What's your name? This is Lou. Is this one does not like to be pet Leon. This none nope. none of them do. No. <laughs> you don't. The only place that you can actually pet an alpaca. I have learned is their neck. Really? And but Lou, when a new baby goat is born, he comes right up to it and Aww. he takes care of it and sniffs it and he will stay wherever. If you let him in the same pen, he will stay with that baby. But the oh, other a one really good protector for babies. But oh uh, when people get alpacas for guard animals for their oh, for their herd. Llamas. Llamas. Or was it llamas that do that? And, yeah. And these guys are only he's about 125 pounds, he's about a hundred and five or ten maybe. but he's pretty small for a young one and they're both about four or five years old so i love the color on that one it's like chocolate but they got these big old beautiful eyes hey moon pie <laughs> he says hi What's how are on? you they love their gymnasium they get up there and they play and <laughs> leon yeah. you said you had a pun buddy he loves to come up with jokes what's your pun if you're ever calling lou just say lou Lou -hoo. Lou -hoo. <laughs> Here's one of my Jersey Giant roosters. Oh man, look how big that rooster is, Leon. Wow. He's handsome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's about to take a, a vacation and let the girls go to the hen pen. And take a break. So they can take a break. <laughs> yes. Handsome boy. But, uh, he's, he's very handsome. Oh, such beautiful ladies. <laughs> they, they really are. And no. Uh, these are our new ones. We rescued all of these, but the actually the rooster owner. Uh, but he is a brown leg. And they are buff Orpingtons and similar things. It's amazing how popular Orpingtons 
are. Like a majority of people that have chickens, like I always hear at least one that they have is an Orpington. And they're of some very variety. gentle. Yeah. They're, they're very gentle. Great, great, breed. very docile breed. See the baby baby ducks? Yes. Aww. There were two babies. batches. She hatched a batch and one of the other ladies from the pond hatched one. And we put them all together and she adopted them. Oh, and it look was at one those little brown babies. one. It's a, a mallard. There he is. Oh yeah, I see him over there. Yes, that's the little mallard. They haven't really started laying well, but this is actually made for bunnies. Bunnies are all live all up under there. Oh wow! And, and you don't have any issue with them digging out from under? No. So far, we have more issue with for baby chicks, but the but the bunnies they they make their little um, colony and burrows in there. This is cool. This is nice. Good use of pallets. Yeah. Yes. Um, we we gathered them up. My husband built it, and uh, he even he put this. Uh, base up because when we do have field trips again, then the kids won't get injured, you know. Yeah, and uh, they can climb up and see it. So we repurposed some leftover netting that he used for his quail down there. And yeah, because we did come up missing a couple of baby ducks, hawks. <laughs> So we had to do something to protect. Where do you the get something like? What is this exactly? Where you, you you just order it online. Uh, he ordered it. It's bird netting. Bird, bird netting. netting. Okay. But I was thinking more like for like baseball or something. Yeah. yeah. It, it is thick enough. I think that um, I don't know exactly. And it comes in. I mean, enormous roll. The right. thing is so heavy you can't even. And we've used part of it over on the aviaries on the back side here. Okay. Yeah, I see it. And, and this doesn't take up a lot of room. That's what's really no. cool is you've got such a great diversity here. You've got enclosures and it's yeah. on like actually smaller, probably smaller than our garden. And there was nothing here but just tall weeds when we moved yeah. here. And we built all of the buildings a little at a time. And then we just added the colony. Very clean. Thank you. Oh, so we, we try, we try, um, we really try. Y'all come look at the aviary. That's the last part all is right. the aviary. And we go through this gate. We have lots and lots of gates. One day I'm going to actually count how many gates I go through <laughs> every day. It's good to have multiple gates because yes. if one breaks out, you got multiple gates between them and the road. And if you need somewhere, then you don't have to go all the way around and come back. And Now these goats in here are pretty friendly. Back chicken. <laughs> That, that's an Orpington. Yep. This is Rhett Butler. Hey, baby. Hi, he and I bought a fit him. Is that a bow? That looks like a bow face. He's a boar Nubian. Okay. Um, He's got that face and that we body. We studied him out, and he went to South Carolina oh, for a month. Yeah, yeah. No, those um, those are Keats. Uh, guineas. Those are guineas. Guineas and mallards. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, remember, we had those uh, those uh, birds walk up. Where we where we're currently living, we're in like a school district, like right. in this in kind of like rural suburbs. And I came home one day, and I pulled into the driveway, and four baby guinea keeps come walking. I'm like, there's not a farm anywhere near. Where'd y'all yeah. come from? Oh, oh, okay. This is this is Dr. Binks. This is this is a newbie and see those ears. Yeah, he, yeah. Every time I start right. the tractor, he gets on the tractor with me. Oh really? Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. He, he is a true Nubian. He came from a dairy farm, um, a Nubian goat farm, and of course all the little boys get cold. Mm -hmm. And we thought, well, he'll be a really good buck one day. Yeah. And he's very, very oh, he's so, oh, he's sweet. so sweet. You can't eat my face though, but you can and you can sniff me. He's about five months old, so he's pretty good size. Yeah. So he's beautiful. He's gonna be a beautiful, he's gonna be a beautiful this baby. Is Binks. He comes there. He comes from. There's his tag oh. where he comes from. Oh, it's so tiny. Those yeah. guinea keeps are so annoying. <laughs> yeah. There's my my choir. Yep. <laughs> they look so funny. They got big round bodies and really skinny necks. They're, so, they're so ugly. Too. They look like a helmet. They're yeah. They look like a helmet. Their feathers though are so smooth and beautiful. But once you get to the neck, yeah. it's like, oh no, you're not as pretty. Um, I believe that's the way it goes. Um, and that that ca 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 that's usually a male. The female will say, "Come back, come back, come back, come back." <gasps> and she does her little, and I don't hear her say any of them saying anything. It's kind of like the ducks. You can yes. tell they have the, the the male ducks kind of do like this growl, like this very raspy. Whereas now, the females now the actually Pekins, quack. Right. The Pekins are. The, the male's very quiet, yeah, and the and the female's very loud. It's like, <laughs> but on the mallards, you cannot tell. They're all they're all just like the females Ooh, until green. they start getting their uh, green heads. Yep, that's when you can tell. And that's five months. Oh wow! 
It's what? nice we see a black and white one in Okay, here. that is a Breda fowl. I wish I could find some more of it. A what? A Breda, B-R-E-D-A fowl. I have never heard of that breed before. Have, if you look really close, she has a hawk nose. She doesn't have a comb. I love her feet. She's got she beautiful has, feathers. She has furry feet. She looks like she's wearing pajamas. Yeah. Uh, I have two of those gals, but I don't have a rooster anymore. Uh. This is one of their chicks, but I put it to a different rooster. Yeah. That black and white one there. Well, if I hear of them, I'll let you know. Really? I have never even heard of that breed before. Is that on like the livestock conservancy list? Uh, yes. Uh, they're actually um, in, in short supply. What do you call it? A Critically species. endangered. Yeah. Um, they came from there's there's debate whether it's spain or norway mm -hmm. but uh the lady i found that was breeding them lived in north georgia the cat went right under that fence <laughs> <laughs> right under oh, that the is fence. a that is a beautiful chicken but but that is that is our bread of fowl everybody wants to buy her and i said no she's six years old and she still lays a big huge white egg oh really wow. yes but her sister is more black than white. Yeah. She was in that first pen there. You didn't even notice didn't her. Didn't even notice her. Cause yeah, she, looked, she looked more like a, a barred rock. Yeah, she's more, she's very hey. striking. Hey, bing, bing. He's just so sweet. He will stay right with me the whole time. Aww. He rode my tractor. We went through two, three gates and then out to the orchard. And he stayed on the tractor the whole time. Aww. My husband opened the gates for me. So I said, if he jumps off, he said, oh, he'll come back. Because <laughs> he loves us. Yeah, 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 sweetie. But we named him Jar Jar Beans because his ears. Yeah, are no, I think it's perfect. Have you seen that movie? You <laughs> Leon, love, Leon loves Star Wars. <laughs> Jar Jar. We're, we're in no way associated with Star Wars. We <laughs> Jar Jar Beans. But we do admire the name. Hey, big boy. And Rhett Butler here. And he's so friendly can too. I, can I pet you now? Oh yeah, he's there. There you go. That's a Jar handsome boy. Jar Jar Beans. Jar Jar Beans is getting all the attention. <laughs> he says this is Maybe not you acceptable. The, you can see the bore in him. Yeah, yeah. I re immediately yeah. recognized it. So, but he is—he's beautiful. He's the one that we always stud out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, he has that such, dome face. He's that, got pretty yeah. confirmation and mm -hmm. uh, great coloring too. And See, what did you say his name was? Red Rhett Butler. Red Butler. Butler. Rhett. Rhett. Rhett Butler. Like the movie star. You like Scarlet and Rhett Butler? Oh, oh yeah, you lost me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. We got a long road ahead of us. Thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. I'm glad that uh, we got to spend a little time in the nice weather. Yeah, no, this is, yeah. you got a beautiful place up here. Thank you so much for having us. Oh. We're super excited to get the goats oh, back good. home. So once again, this is Six Acres Farm and Rescue. Uh, Miss Linda, she has a YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave a link uh, here, I think is where it's at. And also down in the description below, go check out her YouTube channel and give her a subscribe. Go support her channel. She's doing an amazing thing here. She actually is, uh, last as of last year, officially a nonprofit rescue. And she's got an amazing setup here. The animals are well cared for. They're in really, really good hands. And she is so awesome.